I've been using the Daystate Wolverine 3A3 Big Bore Airgun for some time now, and have taken a fair amount of game with it. The pinnacle so far being the perfect brain shot on a wild boar in Hungary. That particular pig dropped on the spot, and it kind of got me thinking. I know the Wolverine is capable of taking bigger game. I also know it's the ideal tool for taking co-animals without causing unnecessary disturbance to other animals in the herd. But the question was, where could we find the opportunity to use this pre-charged behemoth in the environment for which it was built? Actually, the answer was quite simple. Texas. So, we're back in Texas. And we're back hunting air guns. Big bore air guns to be precise. And in front of me is a Daystate Wolverine 303. Now this has taken some small game with me in Varmint, but not had a test on big game yet. Now it's in 303 caliber, fires a 50 grain JSB Emperor pellet at about a thousand feet per second and creates a hundred foot pounds of energy. Now while it was designed for bigger game, as I say, there's nothing really yet that's been able to test its metal. We've done plenty with rabbits, raccoons, foxes, and uh, obviously a wild boar headshot in Hungary. But as yet, we haven't tested anything on a heart lung shot. So what we're going to do today is we've come here to Cast Hunting Ranch in Texas, and we're going out after a seeker doe. Yeah, that's a seeker deer. Now here in Texas, any exotic deer or animal species can be hunted both at night and with an air gun. So what we're going to do is fit up our Daystate Wolverine with a Night Sight NS200 resplendent in its Realtree APG finish. And we're going to head out into the night and hopefully get close enough within 40 to 50 yards of taking our seeker doe. Now you'll also see on this night sight there's a couple of other new additions. Firstly this little pouch which holds the battery pack onto the stock and secondly this compact battery pack which is a lithium battery pack it weighs about a quarter as much as the previous one does and apparently gives you twice as, as much usability. So we've got our center point 4 to 16 by 56 power class scope, Night Sight NST 100, Daystate Wolverine. All we need to do now is find ourselves a doe. We're out in the dead of night looking for a seeker doe for meat. There's plenty of seeker here on this ranch, although they kind of snuck in unnoticed during the recent floods. The seeker numbers have been growing steadily lately, and so the guys here have asked me to help them with a little bit of deer management. We're looking for a nice sweet doe for the pot, and they're looking to thin the numbers. We're a match made in heaven. And what better way to test the wolverine than here in the field? We're making our way around the estate in the truck, lamping the brush and bushes for the seeker herd. After a little searching, we find the seeker. At first they seem unfazed by the lamp, but it isn't long before they decide something's up and head into the thick stuff. We ditch the truck and head off on foot into the darkness. I set my sights on a seeker doe at the top of the bank. However, the tree branches are falling right in front of her. There's no way I'm taking a shot and risking a deflection, so I bide my time but it isn't long before she heads into the thick brush and out of sight. We move deeper and deeper into the black of the night. Two eyes shine brightly in the distance, but there's plenty of foliage between me and her, which is causing a problem. As you can see these cicadera, slightly bigger in the body than the black buck, but they're smaller than the fallow. That's the great thing about shooting with night vision. They're not entirely sure they are. They should be able to see just there, right in front of the heart lung area now. Where my crosshairs are, there's a branch sticking up. Now the very last thing I need to be doing is taking a shot through that. Could have a ricochet. 
end up in the brisket, or worse still, end up in the gut. See, I don't think she could have picked a spot to stand with any better form of cover than that. I'm hoping what she's going to do in a second is just turn, give me an opportunity, here she goes. As soon as she comes clear, I'm going to be able to take that shot. Before I can get locked onto her, she makes a dash for it, and so does a friend. I decide to wait in case any more sea can move across that clearing at the top of the bank. But there's a doe even closer than that. Moving across the bottom of the bank, she's in the open. She looks a little skittish and stands broadside in perfect position. I steady myself with a shot, pick my spot, place my finger gently on the trigger. But something spooks her and she's off again. She's moving, she's moving. I follow her as she bounces through the brush, always in cover. Then she slows, right out in the open and broadside once again. Okay. She stops for a second and I've got my shot. It's right in the engine room, exactly where I wanted it. She runs a little, but doesn't go too far. Perfect. Okay, sh straight down. Get in. Okay, let's go have a look. I head in to claim my seeker doe. Okay, so there we have it, our beautiful seeker doe. That's good size, good size in the body actually. Um, spotted her from the truck as we were coming along. Jumped out, night sight NS200. As you know, here in Texas, um, we can hunt deer either with night vision or with a spotlight. This is the first big game animal I think ever has been taken in the world. Um, state wolverine shot was about 40 yards and we flick her over let's see if we can see where the entry wound is here we go right just here as you can see perfectly placed um, just at the back of the back of the front leg so perfect shot placement straight in um, but when we open her up we'll find that it's a perfect heart lung shot she ran maybe about eight or nine yards before falling down here in beautiful condition, lovely dark coat, great shape. Um, obviously not uh, an indigenous species here in Texas, uh, but still they make for pretty good eating. Lots of luscious grazing around in this valley. Um, and yeah, really, really pleased. All in all, a long day, a long night, and at least we've got some venison on the table. Look at that fabulous uh, seeker doe here in uh, Texas uh, with Cast Ranch and the awesome Day State Wolverine 303. So let's get it back because we've got some work to do. What a performance from the Day State Wolverine 303. To find out more about this phenomenal big bore air rifle, visit daystate.com. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best big boy air rifle hunting on YouTube and our entire range of new shows for 2013.